Well, the physiologic properties of the skin it can be can be kind of complex as far as drug delivery, and there's a lot of people who are on separate sides of the fence regarding whether a drug can be systemically or locally absorbed into the skin because of that. Uh, basically, the skin's made up of a lipid bilayer that's supposed to keep the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. And what winds up happening is, is when you apply a drug or you know, a topical vehicle to the skin, a lot of things go into determining whether or not that drug is actually going to be superficially absorbed or systemically absorbed. One of them is how lipophilic or how fat-loving the drug that you're putting on actually is. The other thing is, is what is the pH of the skin where you're applying it and the actual pKa or how the drug disassociates or goes into a polar um, compound based on the pH of the skin that it's at. So drugs like fentanyl where you can get uh, blood levels just by walking through a room where a fentanyl patch is laying uh, is much easier to get through the skin than a medication that's not very lipophilic such as like morphine that's very difficult to get systemic absorption from. Um, there's a couple things that we can do in order to enhance that absorption. One is to make sure the skin is well hydrated. The other thing is there are permeability enhancers that can actually disrupt that lipid bilayer and allow drugs to I guess for lack of better words, sneak through at least superficially to get to the nerve endings that are right there at the, uh, at the top levels of the skin.